Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7 and also Stargirl Season 2, because we need to freak out and break down the new news that The Flash and Stargirl are officially crossing over, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yes, it's official, Flash and Stargirl crossover, it's happening, and it's happening this year, so we're getting lots of little mini crossovers this year, we're not gonna have like a big crossover, but this is one of those, and I'm super excited, because John Wesley's ship is officially coming to Stargirl for season 2, as Jay Garrick, aka the Golden Age Flash, and so throughout this video we're gonna be breaking down EW's article, because they got the exclusive on Jay Garrick showing up on Stargirl, and we're just gonna freak out about it. So first things first, my initial thoughts, I am so excited, I saw the news, and I freaked out, and I was like, I gotta make this video, so that's why the video is coming out before my live stream today. So if you're checking out this video, remember later in the evening at around 9pm UK time, 4pm EST, we're gonna be live streaming. But for now, let's go ahead and get into this news. So this comes from EW, and they say the Flash is speeding over to DC Stargirl. EW has exclusively learned that John Wesley's ship will guest star in season 2 of the CW's high school superhero drama. Ship will appear in episode 9, reprising his role as old school speedster Jay Garrick from The Flash. According to the official description, Jay Garrick plays a role in a pivotal flashback episode that establishes the Golden Age Flash as a member of Earth 2's Justice Society of America. Per the CW, this miniature crossover will officially bring Stargirl into the CW's post-crisis Arrowverse alongside The Flash, Superman Lois, Batwoman, Black Lightning, Supergirl, and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. This is the first time that Stargirl will feature a character crossing over from an Arrowverse show, as it wasn't possible before Crisis on Infinite Earths established that Stargirl resides on Earth 2. And obviously before Crisis, Earth 2 was a completely different Earth, and so Earth 2 where Stargirl is is something brand new. Crisis established that. And this helps reinforce Stargirl's place in the greater post-Crisis multiverse. And so the article goes on to say, Ship originally played the Scarlet Speedster in the 1990s TV series The Flash. His tenure in the Arrowverse began when he played Henry Allen, the father of Barry Allen, but he has also played several versions of him since then, and he's made appearances on Supergirl and Arrow, that was in the crossovers. So yeah, that is the official announcement, Jay Garrick is going to be coming back. We knew that John was going to come back at some point in the season because he did confirm that a while ago, but we had no idea he was going to show up on another show, and Stargo of any other show. I guess when you look at it now, it does make sense because Jay Garrick in the comics is a Justice Society of America character, and in Season 1 of Stargirl, they actually set up and they teased Jay Garrick, because you look back at like the opening episode and you got to see the Justice Society of America like fully in action, taking on the Injustice Society, but specifically looking at the team photo of the Justice Society, you can see that there is a flash there, Jay Garrick was there, and so it's very cool that they're bringing in and establishing that this version of Jay Garrick, we don't know if it's going to be the same kind of Jay Garrick or it's like an alternate version of Jay Garrick in this flashback episode, which is very important to know. He was part of the Justice Society. And so what happens if it turns out to be that this version of Jay is our actual Jay and he's been in the Justice Society in the past and he just never disclosed it to us or to the Flash, to Barry Allen. I think that would make sense because it's inferred that Jay has been the Flash for a long while. And I don't think it's too far-fetched to assume that maybe he was on another Earth and then this Earth got changed and, you know, he escaped and went to another Earth, maybe to be rid of the Injustice Society chasing him. And so the CW has specifically said that he's going to be in Episode 9, this is going to be a flashback episode which establishes the Golden Age Flash as a member of the Justice Society and so this is going to be the first official thing that's going to bring Stargo officially into the Arrowverse, obviously post-Crisis alongside The Flash, Superman, Lois, Batwoman, Black Lightning, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. So officially she is part of an Arrowverse show. Obviously we kind of knew that already, but it's good that we're getting our first crossover and I'm very excited about this considering all the restrictions right now. I think this is the coolest thing that they could have done. And so episode 9. Well, episode 9 normally of a season is the mid-season finale, so maybe there is some sort of big climax. I don't know if it's going to be 
episode 9 for their midseason, considering that things are kind of different right now, and Stargirl really didn't have a midseason as far as I can remember, because it's a summer show when it came out last year, so I'm presuming they're keeping with the same kind of schedule, and apart from the episode number, it being a flashback episode is cool because you get to explore more of the Justice Society, obviously in season 1 they explore quite a lot, but physically going back and seeing John Wesley's ship play Jay Garrick in the past is going to be so intriguing because we know a lot about him and he's told us a lot of stuff and we've been around as he's been on some adventures with Barry. But really, when you look back at it, we've never really seen anything in the past from him. And so I'm wondering, are we going to see an alternate, older version of Jay's suit? Is he going to be wearing the classic Jay Garrick Flash suit? I'll pull up an image on the screen right now because this is what the original Flash suit, the Golden Age suit, looks like. So, in the photo in the JSA's headquarters, he actually wears this classic Golden Age suit. So, I'm presuming they're going to introduce that in this episode and maybe they'll get to a point where they're like, yes, this is why Jay had to leave. And obviously, the rest is history after that. Then he goes on, he gets captured by Zoom, then Barry saves him, and then Barry's his friend, and then... Barry's basically mentored by Jay in the future, so it's not going to link much into, you know, Flash Season 7, even though there is still a chance that John Wesley Ship will show up in the Flash Season 7 because he did say he's going to be back on the Flash, but I don't know if he meant to say he'll be back as Jay Garrick, and that means he could have come back on any of these shows, and he's just so happening to reprise his role in a different show that is Stargirl, and I'm wondering if this episode is a success, which I'm sure it's going to be, at some point in the near future, is Jay going to return to Earth 2, you know, this new version of Earth 2, and he's going to meet up in present day with Stargirl, and he'll meet the new JSA, and maybe he could be some sort of mentor figure for the young versions of the JSA members. So I think that would be a really interesting idea, considering he's still alive, he's pretty much the only member of the JSA that is alive, and with the show incorporating him into the past, it would be totally awesome if he showed up sometime. You know, it doesn't have to be in episode 9, it could be season 3 of Stargirl, but I think they may plant the idea that he's gonna return at some point. So, what do you guys think about this? Some crazy news, I really, really can't wait to see Jay on Earth 2, in flashbacks, wearing the old classic suit, and getting an insight into what happened in the past with him, and why hasn't he told Barry all of this, and why has he been hiding it? Is there a real reason? And so just before we head to the end of the video, I wanted to touch on something else. So this is just in regards to the Arrowverse as a whole. Obviously, Stargirl is part of the Arrowverse, and this officially brings Stargirl into it. But I'm pretty sure with them doing this crossover, it means that whatever the next big crossover is, Stargirl is going to be a part of that. Stargirl is going to come to Earth Prime and fight whatever threat it is with The Flash, Superman and Lois, Batwoman, and Legends of Tomorrow. Obviously, excluding Supergirl and Black Lightning because they're ending. But yeah, I'm super hyped for Stargirl Season 2, and this has actually boosted my hype level so much. Because Stargirl Season 1 was really good, and I made like a bunch of videos on it, and it seemed like you guys really liked it. And the show has been filming for a while, they've been filming Season 2 for at least a bit. I don't know what episode they're up to, because there hasn't been that many leaks, to be honest. But they have been shooting it, and that means that Ship has, you know, sorted out his agreement, his contract, and he's probably prepping to come and film pretty soon, I would guess, because most of the Arrowverse shows are pretty far ahead in their filming, even with Stargirl not coming out till, like, May time, June time, sometime around then. It's gonna be hitting the CW around when Supergirl is coming back, so still got a while. But we should be getting our first promo material sometime around March time, I would guess. If we're going by how they promoted Batwoman and Superman Lois and even The Flash, which is coming out in under two weeks, and Superman Lois is literally coming out this week, so they started releasing a bunch of stuff like a month or so before. So basically what I'm saying is be on the lookout around March. Obviously we're going to be covering it all here on the channel, so please be sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy this video, and subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any videos. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.